Hello and welcome to Crystal Crafts with Dee. Today I'd like to show you some of the cross stitches that I have done in the past couple of years. Now I was scruffing around in my wardrobe the other day and I came across my cross stitches that I had completed. And normally when I cross stitch I do them up and then I finish them and then I roll them up and chuck them in a box. So I found that box the other day and I was digging through it and I thought, you know what, I might just do a show and tell video on some of the cross stitches that I've done for something different. So seeing as these have been rolled up for a while, they are still really curly. I have tried flattening them out, um, which made a big difference, but they're still a bit curly. So we'll see how we go. So I've got some of the pattern books that I used. So the first one that I'd like to show you is uh, this one's your Amish quilts and I actually bought this as a kit and it came with a complete book which is that one there. So Stony Creek collection, I've done quite a few from their collection. I just I love the way they're set out with their graphs and that sort of thing. These are all counted cross stitch and um, I got a kit to do that one there but you get the whole book with it so um, I thought that was pretty cool so once I got started though I couldn't stop so I did a few others from this series so this particular one here um, quilts for sale I love the colors absolutely loved it here we go now we can have a look and it, it was just easy to follow and I just thought it was so pretty and now that I've seen it I want to frame it because that was the original plan so that's the first one and then because I like that one so much I decided to do this particular one which is a bless this house and of course it won't fit all in the one camera but that, that's all right so I love this I thought it was super duper cute bless this home in every season and it's got your spring your summer your autumn and winter and I love this bit at the bottom and funnily enough that lace work at the bottom in the black that did my head in I, I had no problem with the whole entire thing but I kept stuffing up this bit here which is just nuts so I've actually bought a frame for this one because it's really really narrow actually and I did find a frame for it but the frame is narrow but it kind of comes to here and I thought you know what I might just um, do like maybe pick out this dark green or something like that and just do like a little tiny border all the way around it kind of make a little bit wider and um, make it fit in the frame a bit better so it doesn't kind of get lost in the frame so uh, yeah I think I might just do like that dark green just do it about here Oh, that bit's out a bit far. Yes, about there. All the way around, and then I'll frame it. So I just love this. The colors are just gorgeous. So that's that one. And the last one I did from that series was these gorgeous honeysuckle flowers garden fence thing. This is so gorgeous. I love doing this. Just beautiful. And again, the colors, just gorgeous. So, you got a little birdie there. And again, your quilts. You know, I've never done quilting, but it's something I really want to do eventually. But just the detail and the shading. It's gorgeous. So that's the last one of that series. Next one, I do love my samplers. And this particular one I bought as a kit for my mum and I did it up for her and I loved it so much I actually had it professionally framed and the mount that they used was like this this beautiful green oh it looks so beautiful and I thought yeah you know what I might make one for myself so I have yet to frame mine but um I love samplers it keeps things interesting it's not too big um you can do it while you watch television and you're not gonna you know lose track too quickly so um, I'll just bring that up a bit further. 
I just loved it. I thought it was so cute. Got to have uh, your letters for your sampler. It's very, very cute. So I have yet to frame that one as well. I did buy a frame, so that's a start. And I got it out of the box. So that's a start too. And I got this Christmas sampler. Another bright, colorful one. So cute. Christmas is a time apart, a year-round season of the heart. I love this. So cute. Didn't take long to do either. We'll bring that up. It's very pretty. Just gorgeous. Beautiful. And that one was... I'll try to keep the glare off that. So that was your Jeremiah Junction Country Christmas Sampler. Had everything you needed in it. And it's got a few other bonus patterns as well in there. But I love that. Beautiful colors. So that's that one. Whoop. What camera out. So this particular one here is a series. And this took me ages to do not because it was hard but because I stuffed up one I was like one row off and it was in here and it was so hard to fix because you have all these special sort of sections here and if you altered it one way or another it made this look funny and oh my gosh it just got too hard I threw it in the too hard basket and then I finally dug it out and finished it but I will show you the pattern so that is a mid Amish life. It is a Better Homes and Gardens um, book, and I love the three panels. So you can frame it separately, like three separate frames, like they've got there, or you can do it all in one. I don't think they did all in one. No, um, or you can just frame it all as one picture with a little bit of a space in between. And I liked how it because it's like separate projects each time you do it breaks it up into manageable sizes so I thought this was absolutely adorable and I was really humming and hawing as to what color Ada cloth to put on it because normally I just use cream or white and I actually went with oatmeal which is different but I think it turned out pretty good so with this particular pattern it had so many colors oh my gosh it had so many colors but I'll show you the graphing inside so there's a lot going on in one little panel and then you have here all your colors I counted it once it was a lot look at them all it was unbelievable heaps and heaps and heaps and heaps and heaps of colors and yet yeah, you just have sorry about the glare so it was nice and easy to read but um, yeah it's full on every panel so you don't want to see that you want to see the cross stitch so that was the middle panel and um, like I said I just had so many problems with one little section I managed to fix it up because I think I took it out of the path in the end I think that's what I did um, there's a lot of back stitching going on there so it's pretty full on but I love the colors I love how it came out I'll zoom you in on that one so you can have a bit of a look at how those oops oh. Oh. so the colors are just gorgeous so yes there were a lot of colors in it but wow and I just love this little um, border. I love that. I like a ni nice little touch. Brings it all in together. So pretty. So, so pretty. And the next one, if I can roll him out of the way. That's the next one. So I love how they did the fields in the background. There's just so much detail. And the quilts, I love the quilts. 
so pretty and last but not least the other panel again with that background love it it was fiddly actually that this bit in here it was really fiddly but worthwhile so there you go isn't that gorgeous absolutely beautiful so I will eventually frame it I need more walls with all this framing stuff out we go so that was my Amish and that was on um, that oatmeal sort of colored eight of cloth now all these are 14 count eight of cloth and last but not least a Christmas one on black I don't use black eight of cloth all that often because it's actually really hard for me anyway because it's it's dark I had to have something light underneath it like a white table or a white something um, on my lap or whatever where I was working because it was the only way I could see the holes because it's really hard to see the holes in black eight of cloth um, once you sort of get your eye into it and that sort of thing it's not so bad but so this snow globe Christmas snow globe I actually bought this as a kit and I can't find the um, packet but anyway this particular one I started and I stopped and I left it for a couple of years because the colors that they provided for the, like the greens and the reds were terrible it just looked Ugh. And, and this here too it just looks horrible so I just left it and then eventually I thought right this is driving me nuts I gotta finish it so I went back and I got my own DMC colors and chose them for this green that green and the red and um, I think that works pretty good it's a heck of a lot better than what it was so I love this I love it on black I love the snow and all that and I just love these snowflakes so I'm super wrapped that I finished it because it did come up really good but I've never had a pattern where I've had to change the colors so much but it was worth it in the end and on black eight cloth so it really makes the colors pop so there you go that is some of my stash some of it I have heaps more I've been Cross stitching ever since I got a cross stitch kit for my 21st birthday and I was hooked and I loved it so there's nine cross stitches they're still curling because I roll them up and but anyway I will frame them eventually so there you go there's nine of my cross stitches that I've done in the past uh, something a little bit different it's been kind of cool actually traveling down um, that road and memory lane there and um, it's got me enthused to do some more cross stitch so I have bought some more cross stitch kits not that I need any more but you can never have too many so I bought a couple more uh, cross stitch kits from AliExpress so I will be doing an unboxing of those shortly so keep your eyes peeled for those on my channel and I'm just mixing it up a little bit so um, yeah so there you go thank you so much for watching my video and I will catch you next time bye